Uh, we're gathered this evening in a rather complex time in American higher education. We have assembled a remarkable crew of Colgate faculty members and alumni to help us be to begin tackling this problem, which is the new machine, the monster, the savior called artificial intelligence. I don't think we can lose sight of teaching critical thinking or creativity, but I fundamentally believe we need to use this tool and learn to use this tool. Now you've done something, whether it's accidental or intentional, but you've actually done something very brilliant in your third century vision, which is, by the way, third century. Oh, I didn't write it, a machine wrote it. No, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> when ChatGPT told you to take a place where people think and, and acquire knowledge and put in there the understanding of what is the brain, and then to put in the middle of that campus a science and technology center, brings all that together. And so if we can get through to a point where we can begin to take some of the basic tasks and we can turn those into knowledge workers, I think we're gonna have a really interesting world and more productivity, which means more prosperity. At the end of the day, it really is a tool. It's math, but we really want it to be more. And I'd say, is it, can it be more? Well, in the present and any, any time in the near future state of AI, I don't think it can be. And I think if you believe that there's something called a human and something that makes us human that's more than just math, then you should probably agree. You have a technology, but then the outputs are so vast and so different. And you have to really just take a 360 degree view. And that is why a liberal arts degree is so important. Ken, you're in the trenches in both using AI in a classroom and educating the next generation of people who are going to be wrestling with this. You know, if you remember when uh, the calculators were introduced and what it would have been like teaching math in like the early 1970s, two things are true. Number one, you're not gonna stop using calculators. And two, you need to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And I think that will be true going forward. We're not gonna not use it. We're gonna have to try to find ways to incorporate it. And at the same time, we still need to know how to write, and we still need to know how to code, and we still need to know how to do thermodynamics. So, so I was on campus last week, and there's so much excitement around the use of AI in the classroom. Um, so I met with a beloved psychology professor, Carrie Keating, mm. and she was talking about the study of charisma and how she was so excited to bring together all these disciplines. It really underscores what Avery was saying before about AI really enhancing the liberal arts objective. 